Hello, hello everyone. This is Type N Games worth playing. This one is on the Commodore 64. It is Crossroads by Steve Harder and was published in Computes Gazette 1987 December issue. No, I don't want a trainer. No, I don't want extra shields. And this. Uh. <laughs> Alright, but, alright everyone, as you can hear, this is a very loud game. Okay, this is basically a fast-paced maze shooter. So let's get this underway. Alright. The goal of this game is to complete the level by either killing all the enemies and then getting all these CDs, white things here, you gotta capture them. Oh, I just died. Okay, here am I. Well, you have to capture these. The thing is, the monsters... The monsters can catch them, too. The game plays very similar to games like Wizard of War. A little bit of Berserk thrown in there as well. Oh, here's another one of those. Hopefully I can get it before the monster does. Ah, the monster got it. Oh, I went to the next level. So I gotta press F7 to advance. But anyway, the goal is to capture all, to capture so many of these white fan-like uh, things to advance to the next level. Thing is, the enemies are after him too. So every time the enemies get him, you, just, you basically have to capture that one again. Or capture. As I to explain. Well, anyway, the game is quite fun. I played this a lot when I was a kid. I never typed it in myself. Um, I actually had a friend who typed in the game. And I end up getting a copy from him. <laughs> this is one of the few type-ins that actually have has an official sequel. Came out the following year, exactly a year later to this date, actually, to the date that this came out. <clears throat> As you can see, the enemies are on. Oh, we got another one. Another enemy. Another uh. Spattered or captured. Oh, here's another one. And I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get that last enemy. Screw it. Get a few extra points. <laughs> if you're wondering why my color palette is so bright is because I'm using the standard NTSC color palette, which is the color palette I grew up with. So that's the reason that's why I prefer it. Oh the NTSC C64 color palette was a little bit brighter than the PAL color palette for the most part. Well, anyway, the goal of this game is basically to capture as many, so many of these white things that appear on the screen before the enemies get them. If not, then you have to wait until you get another one appears. As you can see, the enemy just got that. Oh, I just got it. And the enemy just got it again. I'm um, just out here. Lost track, just in. 
because it's busy explaining the game. <laughs> Got another one. <laughs> I just killed. The thing is, too, if you shoot towards the to or towards the entrance way, it will shoot until it shoots the first thing that comes into its path. It will it will continuously go. So it just ricochets. I believe once you lose a life, you lose all your. Oh, advance to the next level. I think this is the furthest. I think the highest, the highest level. There, there was actually, like I said before, there was a sequel to this game. I like the sequel too, but I like this one better, more better. I think the sequel is a better game from a game from a game design uh, standpoint. I think for the sequel is a, is a far superior game, but I prefer this one because it's a bit easier. Oh, managed to kill one of them. Just wasn't the hardest to kill enemies in the game, by the way. Oh, it's furthest. That's the closest I've ever met. I don't think I've ever met a past this level, actually. Despite that, I have fun with playing this game every time I play it. Like, to me, it was the closest thing I had to, like, playing for Zerk on my C64 back in the day. Like, an actual good version. That's not for Seamus, that is. I forgot about Seamus. But this is, like... This is, like, such a, a, an addictive game to play. The goal basic is to get all these things before the enemies do. Oh. Oh! I don't think I've seen this level before. <laughs> I, pr I think I'm almost dead anyway. But anyway, basically the game is very fun to play. It can be a bit, it can get a bit hectic, yes, because of the amount of enemies on the screen at once. That's what I like about this game, it's just so hectic. It's, but it's a lot of fun. Alright, that's game over for me. 